Well, Donald Trump is firing back against the district attorney, the judge, and star witness Michael Cohen after being found guilty on all counts of falsifying business records. Trump is now the first former president to be convicted in a criminal case and vows to appeal the decision. And we're also hearing reaction from President Joe Biden with the presidential election just five months away. Morgan Norwood has more on what comes next. Just one day after his historic felony conviction, former President Donald Trump sounding off, slamming the DA and the judge, while also downplaying the charges and conviction. I paid a lawyer, totally legal. I paid a lawyer, a legal expense. Trump also taking aim at Michael Cohen, his former attorney and fixer who testified for the prosecution. He didn't name Cohen outright, instead hurling insults, despite the active gag order barring him from talking about witnesses in the case. And I'm not allowed to use his name because of the gag order. But you know, he's a sleazebag. Everybody knows that. In the final stretch of the trial, Michael Cohen testified that Trump directed him to pay off adult film actress Stormy Daniels to keep quiet about a sexual encounter with Trump, which Trump denies. All of this so voters wouldn't find out ahead of the 2016 election. Cohen, in his first remarks following Trump's conviction, praising the verdict. So this has been a long time coming for accountability. Jurors heard hours of testimony from 22 witnesses after roughly 10 hours of deliberations over the course of two days. The 12 person panel of New Yorkers returning a stunning unanimous guilty verdict on 34 counts of falsifying business records. President Biden, who has largely refrained from commenting on the case during trial, speaking out about the verdict for the first time. The American principle that no one is above the law was reaffirmed. It's irresponsible for anyone to say this was rigged just because they don't like the verdict. Our justice system has endured for nearly 250 years, and it literally is the cornerstone of America, our justice system. The justice system should be respected, and we should never allow anyone to tear it down. It's as simple as that. And Trump says that his team plans to appeal the verdict. As for the sentencing, Trump will learn his fate on July 11th. That is just four days before the Republican National Convention. He could face penalties ranging from a fine or probation or even up to four years behind bars. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. And the conviction may be helping Trump's fundraising. His campaign donation page crashed, raising $34 million in a matter of hours after yesterday's verdict.